This is lesson 45. It's going to be similar to a lesson that we've done prior to this that related translating verbal statements into algebraic statements and vice versa. We're just going to add inequalities to the mix this time. What do we mean by inequalities? Is not equal to. The inequality symbols uh, does not equal to or cannot equal to or is not equal to. That's an inequality symbol. What else? Greater than symbol, greater than or equal to. We got less than, less than or equal to. We've got approximately, yes. Those are inequality symbols, okay? Um, so the inequality symbols that we're going to be working with, uh, this is just going to be translating between words and inequality. So let's just kind of do a little bit of a... Um, what are some words that would could be used to uh, interpret that symbol? Not equal, not equal to, less than, does not equal, not equal can't less. equal. All right, no. there's not a whole lot. It's pretty straightforward, right? What about what about this symbol? How would we read this symbol? Greater, greater than, more than. No, not no. just y'all listen. Y'all listen. Not not just greater than. Six greater than a number means add. Mm -hmm. Is greater than. Is. is greater than. Yes. It's got to have the is word. Or is more, more than. than. That's another one. That's, and that's about the only way we could do it. Bigger. So is bigger than. That works kind of. Maybe. Yeah. All right. This similarly. Less, less it, not less than. Yeah. Less. less than means subtract. Is less than means this symbol. Okay. Okay. So is less than. Um, is not as much as. Okay. All right. All right. Now the confusing ones. All right. So this could be is less than or equal to. Yeah, that's not very efficient to say it that way, but that would be true, right? Now, shh, too much. Too much interaction. Um, what's another way we could say this? Not greater than. That's exactly, that's exactly right. Not greater than means less than or equal to, right? Um, another way that you could say this is... At most, and this is the one that that kind of is is a little bit tricky. If you have to be less than or equal to fifteen, then is at most fifteen, right? Is at most now this one greater than or equal to would be translated is greater than or equal to or is at least. All right, you have to be greater than or equal to 16 to get a driver's license in Mississippi. You have to be at least 16. Whoa. Okay, so at least means greater than or equal to. You know, listen, and these because the words are confusing. If you're not really thinking of a good concrete example, um, you know, you have to be at least four feet tall to ride some of the rides at the fair. <laughs> right on the nose, four feet tall. All right, so at least means greater than or equal to. At most, it can be at most 200 pounds to, you know, ride a certain ride. So you've, you've got some at most, listen, all over the place, stop. At most is less than or equal to. These are new statements. Is at most means less than or equal to. Is at least means greater than or equal to. So we're going to kind of go through these quickly. Now, inequalities, we've just talked about that. A mathematical statement compares quantities that are not equal. They can be approximately the same. They can be less than, greater than, or not equal. Those are all 
kind of things that we're going to look at here. So let's translate each of these sentences into an equality statement. The quotient of a number and two is less than or equal to six. What would that translate into algebraically? X over two is less than or equal to six, right? What about one half is greater than the product of a number and three fourths? One half greater than symbol x times three fourths or three fourths x. Okay, that's the product of a number and uh, three fourths. All right. What about the difference of a number and 2.8 does not equal 8.2? X, X minus, minus 2.8 does not equal to 8.2. Sorry, I just had to kill a mat up there on my screen. Does not equal to 8.2. I didn't kill a mat. Amen. All right, the sum of, y'all listen, this is, this, is, this is a little bit trickier one. The sum of the product of 20 and a number and 75. All right, so we're telling, this is telling us that we're about to take the sum of something. So I'm looking for two things. What are the two things I'm adding? 20x, 20x plus 75, plus 75 is at least... That's right. You have to be at least four feet tall to ride something. That means four feet or more, greater than or equal to four feet tall. Okay? All right, so 20X plus 75 is that. So you got to be careful when it tells you that there, we're taking uh, the sum of, of things. If we're doing the sum of something, then we're talking about adding two things. So we've got to find the two things. The two things are the product of 20 and a number, and 75. So these are a little bit trickier to kind of pull out. All right. Now let's use words to write these sentences. Elizabeth, give me one for letter A. Six is greater than the sum of number and eight. Six is greater than the sum of a number and eight. All right. Or eight more than a number or, you know, a number increased by eight. There's a lot of different ways you could say that. Um, letter B, Liam. Um, the product of a number in 2.5 is less than 15. Is less than 15. That's very good. All right. Um, Jeffrey, give me one for letter A. Negative 2x times a number plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 8. All right, so you read it straight out. Let's use different words. All right. Negative two and negative two and x. Well, how how could you say that? The product of negative two and a number, right? And then we could say it's increased by, or we could go all the way back and say the sum of negative two and a number. Excuse me, the sum of neg the product of negative two and a number and four. That's maybe a little more confusing. How could you say this? Is at least negative eight, right? So let's, I want to just make sure that you have some flexibility on this so that you've got some other things to do. All right, last one. Jay, what you got for the letter B? Okay, X equals negative eight. So we're not trying to solve the equation. Um, oh, just right. making sure that, you know, really focused in on what we're doing here. Bo, give me one for letter B, please. Bo, give me one for... Uh. The difference of 3 multiplied by a number and 6 is at most negative 30. Very good. Yeah, that works. Or you could say uh, 3 times a number decreased by 6 is at most negative 30 less than less than or equal to those are the kind of things you can have a look at all right now jonas in purchase is purchasing not in jonas is purchasing 
15 screen printed warm up suits for his soccer team. He can spend $1,000 oh at most. At most. So that is less than or equal to $1,000, right? There's a setup fee of $25 for the screen printing. Okay. Uh, what can he spend at most on each suit, including tax and printing costs? Okay. So we need to write an equation. We need to write an equation and solve this. What do we need tax for? All right. So let's talk about this. We need 15 warm ups. So $25 is what we're starting with. That's our setup fee. And then we're going to pay for 15 of these things, 15 times some cost, right? And that's at most $1,000. We don't know what the tax is. This, this cost is going to include everything. So the tax is included. Do what? So then we would solve that, right? We've got 15C. Then we would subtract 25 from both sides. 15C is 980, no, 75. All right, y'all with me? I know it's Wednesday and y'all don't have homework tonight, but guess what? You're going to have this on a test and you're not learning today. Many of you aren't because I don't have any homework tonight. I'll catch up later. <laughs> All right, divide both sides by 15. C. So he can spend at most $65 per uniform, okay, warm-up suit. So that's how you would uh, set up a problem like this using the inequality symbols. All right, jot this down, page 284, A through H, 1 through 14. Just jot this down, y'all trust me on this, okay? I just need you to do what? I'll explain it later. I just need you to write this down. <laughs> 